hey hello and welcome to abj vlogs why are you that abj vlogs you know i'm here in china and first of all i want to thank you all for your support your love everything that you have dedicated towards this channel you know i really 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 appreciate from the depth of my heart and uh, the, the the comments everything that you are giving me the thumbs up everything i really appreciate them people sending me messages that abj go on do it you are doing some great job and so i want to thank you all for all this and i say i really 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 appreciate yes so today what do i have for you but by the way if today is your first time don't forget to subscribe share for others to know what we are doing here and see you let's let's go and see what i have for you today okay all right so in today's video i'm going to talk to you about everything about undergraduate admissions here in china i'm talking to you about everything about undergraduate admissions here in china i know a lot of you are have graduated from high school and on, on my channel i see a lot of them watch and comment very well and so it's like if i want to study computer science if i want to study biological science i want to study this here in china for my undergraduate program how do i go about it and so please if today is your first time subscribe and share for others to know what we are doing here please this video is very important and so you want to share for others to know what we are doing here and let me tell you undergraduate is very good you know because that's the stepping stone and from undergraduate to be able to go on to the other but i'm going to keep this video quite short so that you can really watch and then share for others so when it comes to undergraduate here in china there are various things that i want to tell you about it first of all if you have not watched my videos on scholarships here in china you can go and watch some of the scholarships that i've talked about because i'll be using them to make references in this video so that you get to understand what i mean and so uh, for undergraduates, that means that you have finished high school uh, in your university, in your home country, and then you want to come to China to do um, your your undergraduate. But with undergraduates, there is a big question mark. There is a big question mark. And this is what I want everybody to know. Because recently people are contacting me and saying that ABJ, an agent said he will get me this, an agent said he will get me that. Yes. I'm not really doubting the capability of the um of the agent and i'm not here to say that agents are for no we have very very good agent just that no matter what we have some bad ones in there but we have good good agents so if you are going through an agent make sure you make all your due diligence check everything before you proceed because they will take money and we have some i don't want to promote any of them on my channel but we have some uh other agencies here in china that i know a lot of people have used them when you go online you might see them but uh, i cannot guarantee whether they are authentic or they are not authentic or whether their services do not come with any other uh, attending challenges i cannot tell but when you are a bachelor or you want to study for your bachelor here in china then you should be ready to uh, pay or commit yourself to some extent because finding opportunities here like full scholarship opportunities here for bachelors is kind of hectic and it's kind of difficult and so i told you about the chinese government scholarship type a what i've realized is that usually a lot of people come to china through bachelors to study their bachelors through chinese government scholarship type a and so in your home country you apply through your i've mentioned this that's what i'm saying if you have not watched scholarship videos you can check that and um, you have to actually apply through your government that is the chinese government scholarship type a but the chinese government scholarship type a usually opens earlier than the type b uh, and you have the opportunity to apply to two universities with that one if you win the scholarship you are eligible for even a uh, stipend and we have very few universities in china that opens for bachelors and so if you want to study bachelors under chinese government scholarship the cut of age is 25 the cut of age is 25 i think or maximum should be 30 but i'm very sure it's 25 but when you check on the chinese government scholarship on the university's website you find it but it is like usually like 25 years and so if you want to study for bachelor that should be your cut off year like the the year to first of all uh, get you accepted and you apply to the chinese government scholarship type a in your country and you are selected that means that you are short of your full tuition accommodation and i'm at least typing of 2500 i don't know whether that goes with a year but then you are short of 2500 rmb and if you want to apply to the type b it is kind of hectic it is kind of hectic 
because you have to now search for the universities. But I know uh, like a Beijing Institute of Technology, they have quite good engineering program. They usually also uh, admit students for bachelors under the Chinese government scholarship type B. But it is not all the courses you, re you really have to check. But now here is the real deal. Here is the real challenge. The real challenge is that a lot of people, no, you, you actually have to study on, um, most of the, the courses are taught in Chinese for bachelors. Most of them are taught in Chinese. And so you have to, first of all, study one year program. That is why you are on the Chinese government scholar. So your first year, your entire first year is going to be taught in Chinese. After learning Chinese language, within one year, you should be able to speak because the whole of the first year is going to be Chinese, Chinese, Chinese. When you grab the language, you are supposed to write Chinese HSK 4. That is the Chinese language proficiency examination. You are supposed to pass the level 4. When you pass the level 4, now you are admitted into the full program. You are admitted into the full program. So the, the whole of your bachelor program is going to be five years. One year for Chinese language. When you pass HSK 4, in some schools, they give you like few opportunities if you're unable to pass they will withdraw you but once you're able to pass you enroll to your main program and you're going to study for four years but after the four years you are so before you get your certificate you're supposed to uh graduate with at least H it depends on the school but some schools at least you should be able to graduate with hsk4 i'm uh, sorry five or six it depends on the university but at least you are supposed to graduate with hsk5 or six so that means that even whilst you're on the program, you are supposed to study and then learn more so that you'll be able to pass another level of HSK before you can get your final certificate. Now, that is that is even on the Chinese government scholarship. What about those who are not going to study on Chinese government scholarship? So if you're not studying on Chinese government scholarship and you are studying on any other university scholarship, here is also the challenge. It is very, very, very difficult because most of the schools do not have full scholarships for bachelors. They do not have full scholarship for bachelors. Some have, and some of the agencies that they know their way around. But I am not an agent, so I cannot speak to that fact. But what I know is that most of them do not have full scholarships to offer students. And so they are going to give you waiver. They are going to give you waiver. So if they will tell you maybe class A, class B, class C. So class A may be maybe 100% class B, 70% uh, class C, 50%. So they will give you waiver. And when you get this waiver, but still, you are supposed to pay for your accommodation, medical insurance, and feed feed yourself. So I would really advise that if you are coming to China to study bachelor's and then you are not having a good source of funding home, please don't come. I'm not discouraging you. But if you really want to come, then it means that you should be ready for all the attending problems. Because we have a lot of people who come to China for bachelor's and then they face this kind of problem. Okay, So you have to have a good source of income. To support you from home so that is for those who want to study on bachelor program right on bachelor program uh but some of these universities still even under the university scholarship are going to study for one year chinese language and then you proceed however we still have other universities here in china that teach in english bachelors yeah we have quite a number of them so that one too is just the same because it's a university program and it's a university scholarship yeah they do not have full scholarship you're going to pay for yourself most of the fees for yourself some might not even come with any waiver some have a policy that okay when you engage in sports and all lot of others they would just give you some waiver off like so your, your participation in a particular semester will determine the amount of money that you are supposed to get to uh, waive off your fee and so you have to uh, take part in these sports and other things competitions for the schools and for the school and then be able to but we have those who are taught the ones that are taught in english we have ones that are taught in english and the bachelor program so that you don't have to do one year chinese language pass and then proceed you get it and um yeah so basically basically that's what we have to know about it because a lot of people contact me and then they are confused and as to what they should do abj what do i do in that situation so this is basically all that you have to understand about studying Chinese, uh, studying bachelor program in China. If you still want to have some of the schools, some people contact me and I give them some of the schools. You can still contact me via the email and everything that I've provided. And I want you to share this video for others to know what we are doing here. If you still have questions that I could not address, maybe because of the time I could not address all the video uh, questions in this video, you can let me know and tell me what next I should do. And uh, for you to understand, if you have any peculiar video that you want me to shoot about education, you can put it in the comment section and I'll do due diligence to it. Until then, please have a good time.
subscribe to our channel share for others to enjoy what we are doing and i will see you in the next one it's i jim bye bye i love you mm -hmm. oh my